I always used to love to paint. Just expressing myself and my emotions was always, uh, art was always my favorite medium. I learned a bit in school and wanted to do it in my graduation. Uh, I wanted to go to an art college, but then life kind of had a different plan and I got married at the age of 19 and started raising my family. I was good at what I did. I did learn quite a bit of art during school and high school and kept painting. But then as I got married, started raising my family and a couple of years later, as my girls were growing up, growing up so I realized that I just need to do something for myself because my life had always been about everybody. So I started painting again, found happiness uh, in doing that. Then was the time when I joined the program, the program and just uh, followed my instinct to do it and here I am a professional artist so it's just been an incredible journey. Always for me, like, you know, just doing what my parents said or what my mother wanted, just about what everybody else wanted. And uh, my parents always said that, you know, saying no is not a very good thing. Saying yes to everything you're asked for is just what is expected out of a good girl. My art, my room was my little shell where I could be myself. Art was a medium where I really expressed myself with loud, bright colors or just uh, uh, drawing images where I'm just on a swing riding high and as a little girl I used to chase the fireflies thinking you know just being in my own dreamland so yeah I mean it was always me being my to myself I was a whole different person and on the outside I was somebody else so you know it took me a lot of time when I started painting again or uh, when I was finding my voice it took me a lot of time to uh, peel those layers which kind of you know formed around me and even after I grew up um, as I got married again you know it was that and my life was just about everybody but then as I started painting I found myself again and I think uh, it's just been so beautiful that I could do that again. I kind of really like uh, the textures in the background and plus I think while I'm doing that I feel I carry my heritage and my roots along with me because I've been you know into that patterns and this all my life so I kind of like to come from a place of strength imbibe them in a in a beautiful way in my process so this is the crackle paste. I really like how the cracks look on the canvas. For me, it is like, you know, I mean, we all have things that made us or broke us and those cracks and we all need healing. For me, it just symbolizes that how far I've come, I want that to be a part of my process too. I like reminding myself about how far I've come and I've always kind of stood and took some time to realize that and just be proud of my growth. You know, I just uh, like uh, making things beautiful with whatever I have at hand. I kind of like blending the textures and then applying collage with it. So, you know, some things are peeking through and some things are uh, just right there. Now I relate a lot more when I find meanings to what what each thing in my uh, process means because sometimes I was I'm just doing it and sometimes when I look into it so it all comes together and I can actually see what it is and each thing has a specific meaning and everything together speaks my story so yeah <laughs> kind of it feels good to me and uh, when it is dry and I feel I need something more then maybe I can do it later but I don't want to kind of overdo it now. Art just gave me a lot of confidence to be myself, just to get to know myself. I lost myself and then I found myself at the same time through my art. Like, 
like uh, if I just give you an example that about the fluid acrylics or I use a lot of inks and spray paint you don't have really control on those art supplies but then when you just trust the process you are doing it it just I mean I've seen that when it dries it just dries so beautifully like there's a divine hand working through you and I've just started trusting God more after that because I feel that what God has designed for you is much more beautiful than what you can even think of most of the times when I start it's just so messy and I'm just playing around but then in the end uh, it just turns out really pretty and really beautiful and the result is what I really want it to be so and even sometimes better than what what I expected in the beginning so yeah I've always been using gold leaf. Now I've just started going uh, way more bigger in gold and as I want to incorporate more of it into my paintings because for me it's always been a sign of prosperity and I think in my culture as well I've just grown up believing that. Again, you know there is a lot of things that talks about in my process talks about growth, plus prosperity and uh, just stopping by to look how far you've come. So I think uh, gold just makes me makes me seen I feel I had a good base to start on I started with my mid tones and then went to the highlights a little bit not really the hair I could uh, you know go quite further in it but then today I was able to do a lot with the highlights on the body and then the hair and the hands I think these three steps if you know you just uh, take them purposely or just mindfully by starting with glazes and then mid tones darks mid tones and uh, highlights you can't go wrong with oil and they just bring your painting to life. With oils, I generally like to build up layers slowly, starting with darks. I like starting with transparents because they just give a really nice base to build up uh, the color. So I keep going back and forth in transparent and opaques and I use, use uh, galcade so that it dries quickly. Just building up layers, going dark to light, uh, is the trick if you start really early uh, with the lights you end up mixing dirty colors so just uh, follow the rules of uh, going from dark to light and I think that is something very important to be followed. Normally uh, when I start I just love to feel my way through I don't like really make proper source I have this color story in my mind these are the general colors I would always go to pastel colors the gold is bright and bold so it's just a blend of both where I try to find a balance but yes I do have uh, always like a image that I want to paint and again I would just go with my gut I would just have a vague idea of what main image or would look like I would just feel my uh, way through about the colors yeah okay I'm done for today okay. yeah So I've been working on this series and with this I definitely think this is like a breakthrough piece for me and it just it just flowed out of me so effortlessly and just a few sessions and I'm I'm amazed myself. I just keep doubting myself so much but with this piece it gave me a lot of confidence. I mean I can just totally see how far I've come and my progress and how much I've learned so yeah. And each piece just teaches me teaches me so much about myself and what I like what I don't like and just the whole process. Yeah I mean it, it was it was a really great experience painting this uh, in the said amount of time after the outstanding artist so yeah it felt great i mean just looking at things and i don't want to overdo it because that kind of happens i mean i was starting to feel that i was overdoing this bit so i just stopped myself but yeah nothing beyond that i i think i um, i pretty much know what to work i still have to work a little bit on hands besides that i'm almost done so uh, walking away a uh, first point walking away from from the painting it helps you look better and see uh, what needs work because sometimes when you're working 
really closely and doing the details you can just get lost into it and keep applying color but i don't really want to overdo it because that can uh, really happen uh, so if you walk back and look from far uh, things make more sense sometimes and uh, not sometimes always it, they just make uh, Uh, more sense and you can see them uh, the form and uh, things uh, better and also taking a picture uh, really helps me see the form and those little plane shifts and uh, whether it is going far or whatever i kind of want uh, them to be i can see it better when i take a picture and sometimes even if uh, i still feel stuck so i would just turn the painting upside down and not see as like hands or not see it uh, like a figure but just you know bigger shapes and shutting down my left brain and getting into the right brain and just seeing the colors and the shapes and the big smaller shapes and the bigger shapes so that also really helps Thank you for watching my start to finish. I hope you feel inspired to get into the studio and create.